What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm the right winged angel Oliver Mack and in this video we got to talk about yet another rapper who was murdered and the situation surrounding this murder and how crazy it is and how this keeps happening again and again and who's responsible. Let's check it out. So this is about PMB Rock. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his music or who he is, but he's a rapper out of Philadelphia. He was 30 years old when he was murdered. This happened in Los Angeles. So let's check out this story and how crazy this story is. Check it out. Legal documents are giving us new details about what led to the arrests and the killing of rapper PNB Rock. Gigi here with the latest. Now, both Freddie Lee Trone, who had been on the run but was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday, and his 17-year-old son have been charged with murder in the death of rapper PNB Rock, although prosecutors say it was the teenager who actually shot and killed him. And today we're learning more about what happened that fateful day. Now, the timeline in the felony complaint... Now, I know we always talk about fathers matter and how important fathers are, but if you got a father like this, we need to keep fathers like this far away from their children. It says that Freddie Lee Trone met with someone outside Roscoe's just moments after PNB Rock and his girlfriend arrived. Trone is then seen leaving, but he returns shortly. This time, he's with his 17-year-old son, who was reportedly armed with a gun. Trone drops him off a short distance away from Roscoe's. The teen then walks into the restaurant and goes straight to the table where the rapper and his girlfriend were eating pointing a gun at them, prosecutors allege, and saying, quote, give me all of your jewelry now. The timeline then has the teen shooting PNB in the chest, just like that. And after he fell to the ground, prosecutors say the teen shot him two more times in the back. The felony complaint goes on to say the teenager then pointed that gun at PNB's girlfriend, Steph, saying, quote, show me your hands, give me that blank right now. I swear to God, I I shoot you in the head. The teen then took her jewelry, but it didn't end there. The complaint went on to say that as the rapper lay dying on the floor, the teenager robbed him too, taking his chains and watch and even pulling his rings off of his fingers. The timeline ends with the father and son driving home, but prosecutors say they parked blocks away and walked home with the teen disposing of his shoes and shirt along the way. The felony complaint makes no mention of that now infamous social media post from PNB's girlfriend that tagged them eating at Roscoe's, although police say the investigation is not over yet. Unbelievable. So you have a father who drove his son to go rob and kill a rapper who was eating at a restaurant with his girlfriend. So somebody told them that they were in the restaurant, so they, they went to the restaurant to rob this person. You have a father who drove his 17 year old, a minor, drove his 17 year old son to commit this crime. I don't know if the father knew that he was going to murder him, but I mean, obviously this boy has been trained in this type of behavior. Obviously the father has participated in this type of behavior and passed on this behavior to his own son. This is sick. I'm, I am so sick of seeing stories like this in situations where we have a no good parent who is accessory to their child committing crimes. They know their child is committing crimes and they're okay with it. They, they play along with it. They participate in this activity. What is wrong with these people? You know, when you think about it, a lot of these individuals that we see doing bad things in our society, it all trickles down to the parents. How was this person raised? And there's a lot of parents out there that should go to jail for a very, very long time for very, very poor parenting. I don't know if we can create some kind of law or some kind of crime where it says that if you were negligent as a parent, even if it's like, you know, for the smallest things that you should be held responsible if your child does something like this. Of course, he's going to be held responsible because he drove the getaway car. But even if he didn't drive the getaway car, he should be held responsible for what his child did to this man. This man who was just minding his own business. We have... 
these people that are just, you know, and it happens, of course, this is the black community. You know, when I talk about who's responsible for these types of things, it's black people. This is not white people. You know, we have people that talk about white supremacy all the time and, and how white supremacy is lurking around any every corner looking to get black people. It's not. The only people that are lurking around every corner looking to get black people are other black people. If you've been put in a position or if you're in a position to where you can afford to get nice cars, nice jewelry, you can afford to, to have the finer things in life, then you're going to have people that look just like you that are going to try to take that from you. And if they cannot get that from you, they will take your life. It's pathetic. These weak, sissy little boys that grow up thinking that they should be able to have everything they want and not work for it. That's the problem with this generation today. We have a lot of boys that are growing up thinking that everything should just be put in their lap or they're not going to do anything about it. And if it's not put in their lap, then they're going to go and try to get it by taking it from someone else by any means necessary, even if it means killing the person that you're trying to take it from. And it's just crazy to me that these people think they can get away with this type of stuff. We see people. Well, actually, let me not let me rephrase that, because there are a lot of people, especially in the black community, that do get away with this type of stuff. I guarantee you that that boy's father has probably killed someone before, has probably robbed someone before and is walking free. So now the boy thinks, well, I can do it, too. And they have this I don't give a F mentality to where. They'll do whatever they want to do because they don't care. They don't care about anybody else's life. They don't care about their own life. This 17-year-old kid walked into this restaurant, shot this man in the chest, and then shot him again while he was on the ground dying. What kind of heartless person does that? What kind of teenage boy, what, what kind of person is raising this sorry piece of human flesh sorry excuse for a human being i cannot believe what i've been hearing but this happens a lot unfortunately in what i call murder music that's what rap music is is murder music so murder music we have so many of these rappers that tend to just get murdered just for being rappers they're walking around with chains on they're doing still living the life that they were living before they were rappers and then they get murdered so i want you to check this out Here's a list of the rappers who have been murdered starting in 1987. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight. And PNB Rock is the 59th rapper that has been murdered since 1987. We have how many rappers were murdered in 2022? Just this this just year, and it's not even over yet. We have one, two, three, four, five, six rappers that were murdered in 2022. This is this is definitely, and then if people want to talk about the problems. Maybe rap music is a problem. I mean, I used to be a rapper and I quit rapping because I didn't like the things that I was talking about. I, I felt like, you know, I was adding to the problem because this type of music that these rappers make when they talk about killing, they talk about drug dealing and that stuff. I was doing that and I didn't want to add to the problem. So I stopped rapping. But in my opinion, it seems like rap music has kind of added to the issues in the black community. It kind of glorified the things that we were supposed to say, hey, this is not what we want to do. It, it glorified drug dealing. It glorified murders. It glorified robbing people. It glorified all that. And it, it led to these young people today really not care. Like there's no code anymore. Like they listen to these rap lyrics and basically they act out the things that are on the rap lyrics. Like to a T. You know, we used to have a, a code where it was like, we're not going to harm any women, women or children. If I have beef with a, with a man, 
That's who I'm going to go against. If if I got to do something to him, then I'm going to do something to him. And I'm going to catch him while he's by himself so I don't harm anybody else. But you got people today, these young men today, that'll just, if you got beef with a man, if he's in a car with his girlfriend and children, they'll spray up the whole car and don't care if they hit the girlfriend don't and don't care if they hit the children. They don't care. And a lot of this stuff, like you hear it in rap lyrics. You hear... These rappers talk about, I'll, I'll kill your grandma. I'll kill your children. We hear it. And then we see it in real life. Not before the rapper said it, but after. So you can see that this music is adding to the problem. And I know we have free speech in this country. And you can definitely say whatever you want. But we definitely have to call this stuff out. Because it is an issue. And we cannot ignore it any longer. Because our children are suffering. Unfortunately, since black children are very impressionable because they do not have strong father figures in the home, then they look to rappers and different people like that to be their role models. Then they emulate this stuff. You can have white children and, and, and white adults who listen to rap music and it doesn't bother them at all. We have, we have white people I know that listen to gangster rap music and then go into their nine to five job and say, yes, sir, I, I'm... I hope you're having a good morning today uh, and, and talk like that, you know, but we have black people that listen to rap music and then emulate the same thing they hear in the black in the uh, in the rap songs because they can't turn it off like that because they've they've grown to idolize these people. So, I mean, we got to do something about this is it's a very destructive culture and I'm tired of seeing young black males and any black males and any person. Right. Uh, no matter what your color is dying senselessly over something like jewelry it's really pathetic whenever i see something like that if you want it go get it don't try to take it from somebody else go get it on your own make the money to get it on your own it's just sad man i'm, I'm really sick of it i hope something is done about it but I, I i don't have hope in that regard because i keep seeing the same thing happen like i said we got what six people yeah six people who died Six rappers who died in just this year alone. I don't know. I don't think it's getting any better. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Fit the description section so you can link to my social media and also my merch. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.